morning or oh, we're going to start this morning we've taped it up we've taped the horizon and i'm going to start with the sky so wetting the page all over actually i'm just going to try and miss out those trees a little bit but we can i can go over the the buildings i'm going to miss the trees just a bit go around the trees nice and wet no puddles and i've managed to get because I did, I rubbed out some pencil mark. Let's just get rid of that and start that again. Right. Now we start. Water. Still got marks, it'll come off. No puddles, but a nice sheen. And I've just gone over those trees, which I didn't want to. So I'm going to just, with a tissue, dab on the trees slightly. And then I've changed my mind, so I'm actually going to put them back, water back on. Okay, so that's totally confused everybody, including me. I've put some... Get a little bit of, of raw sienna. Don't want it too strong, too bright. And in this, you see, I've put it in the middle of it and, and down by the building. So I'm just going to pull, come from the, the sides and pull. Oh, nearly in the coffee. That's the raw sienna. And then I'm going to have, I'm going to have a little bit of Payne's grey and a little bit of cobalt blue, just so that it gives it a, a little bit of a darker hue than just straight cobalt blue. And I'm just going to bring that in slightly. I'm going to try and leave some light in this area in the middle here. So I'm pulling that over the yellow in the places. And I've left, hopefully, because it will creep in and, and, and fill it up, but I've left a little white patch there and some white patch there, just so that it gives it a bit of light. And I'm just darkening the corners. We're still wet, so it's still just, just bleeding in. And that's my sky. Basically now we need to let this dry. I need to get that off of there. Come off. So whilst it's still wet, I've removed the tape from the trees. I'm just going to, with some fairly neat raw sienna just dot some through those trees it's still wet so it should be fine then i'm going to take some light red and do exactly the same and do random splodges
and then a bit of Payne's Grey down at the bottom. Fairly neat, not too much water with it. Just to put a bit of dark into it. And a bit of brown as well. You can always put brown in if you've got brown handy. That's uh, it. It has bled, mine has bled a little bit into the into the sky, but not as much as it maybe would have done had I not dabbed it. I'm just going to put a little bit more red in. A little bit above. Some dots above the the mass that's painted in. I must move my coffee cup. Whilst we've been doing that, that's been drying quite nicely. Although I can see it's still fairly damp down by this. So I'm going to very gently pull this masking tape away. And finish that off. I'm going to use some cobalt blue with with a little of the Payne's grey in it, and just at the bottom there, keeping. along that line that's, that we put in, just basically block this color in. I don't want it too dark because it's sort of a little, it's a not distant distant, but it's far away. And I'm just going to do that and look to see whether my paint is is bleeding into the sky. It doesn't seem to be. Now this paint, this will dark, dry darker, darker, lighter. So coming along there. So the, my cooling towers which every bay should have, obviously, are going to be lighter than the buildings in front of them. So I'm just going to leave that a minute or two, and let that dry and just just lightly paint those in. using the same color, but different tonal values. Oh, that's a bit wet. So I've got two levels of building across here, or two layers, two stratas, one, one right on the the shore side and then one and then some at the back. That's a darker one. And well, the cooling towers are the, the ones that are, are lighter. So I'm going to leave that to dry. I'm doing the, the the shore, so I'm just going to wet where the 
the, the beaches. Including where the rocks are and out slightly there, around the corner there, and up to the tree trunks, just beyond the tree trunks. I'm going to go up with, go with some raw sienna, just in sweeps, sort of random sweep. Stick some out there, and then some then um, some burnt umber again, random, it will diffuse in and it will give you the idea of it being different colors, which it is. And what else should we put in? A little bit of the cobalt blue Payne's grey mix underneath the trees. Just, I've still left it so that I've got some light coming through underneath the trees. And I'm just going to put in a little bit of paint there to start off the rocks. So we can make rocks out of those in a couple of minutes. Whilst this is still wet, I get the rigger. A little bit of that Payne's grey cobalt blue. More not too wet, quite dry on the brush. I'm just going to do some tree trunks down because it being wet here, it means that it will seat them into the, the ground easily because it will just bleed in. So that's, I can actually, my eye then looks through underneath the trees and I can see this water then. I'm not going to color it, it's going to be left white, but the eye will go, oh yeah, there's water behind there. And now I'm just doing these, this break water, getting smaller and smaller as it goes out to into the water till it's a dot. Now I've taken out the breakwater I had at the front here, but I noticed that it's still there. So now would not be the time to do that one because this is all very wet here. So leave that one and get a crisp line on it. Just blending that in a bit because that was a bit of a lump. Where my rocks are, I'm just going to put a little bit of the, the brown on top of the, the cobalt blue and Payne's grey. And then I'm going to have a little bit of the red as well. It's still wet, so it's still, it's just it's going to bleed in. And then you can even though I hadn't drawn them, I can make some more just by using a little bit of color just to pick each one out or the idea of picking one out. And on my rig, a little bit of raw umber and a couple of, ooh, too big. Okay, let's do 
and then we have the wet sand line going around that bit there. It's just where the wet sand is. We can't see it this side because it's hidden by the shore. If it isn't bleeding in well, just give it a little helping hand with some water on your rigger, just dampen it down and, and let it flow in. Just want it to look a bit darker there. And I'm going to make that a bit better. And then with a nice dark color, so you can have mixed Payne's gray, some raw umber. And perhaps a bit of belize and crimson just to make it a nice dark color. I'm just going to do one or two little sticks and stuff. And and do a bit of splatter so I don't want the rest of that splatter so I'm just using something to shield it and just gently tapping my brush against my finger hopefully Ooh. bits and spatters just going to make those show up just a tiny bit more. I'm now officially fiddling. And I will stop immediately. Now I want for that foreground to dry a little. Before I do, I'm just going to get a little bit of that dark colour we used for the spits and spatters. I'm just going to put a little bit of, just to pick out these rocks a little. Just, just blending that line in just a little bit. We've got no rock there. We've got a line, but we've got no rock. I mean, on close inspection, they really, yeah, they wouldn't look like rocks. However, look at it far away, you can go, oh yeah, it's a bit rocky there. Just blending in the bottom a bit. As again, fiddling, yep, fiddling, stop, okay. So this, I'm going to, I'm going to paint the sea and it's going to be dry, wet on dry. And I'm going to take some cobalt blue with a touch of Payne's grey in it, only a touch. I've mixed it and then I'm going to now wipe and get the water out of my brush. So it's, it's fairly dry. 
And I'm going to put that color on there on, on the brush and I'm going to hold it on the side. And I'm going to just pull gently. Sometimes it doesn't go where you want it to, so you've got to you've got to make it. And into that little bit there. I'm just, I've not reloaded it or anything. I'm just pulling it in short. I've done it a little bit darker over this corner because this is where my dark sky is. All right. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the turquoise. I'm going to wet, get it wet, stick it on my palette, dry my brush, and then just put drop a bit of turquoise in. in that area there. Actually, that is just a wee bit too sparkly for me. So I just got a, a damp brush and just going to soften some of that off. And put a little bit more paint on just to make it more blue than white. It that was more white than blue. But it's always easier to do it this way round. I've got quite a dark bit over here, which is fine. And then because we have got some raw sienna in the sky, I'm going to do exactly the same with raw sienna. Wet it get it on the palette and then dry and then look to see where you've got the raw sienna. So I've got some here and some here, some there. And just drop a little bit in, only a, a sparkle, just enough colour just to mimic what's in the sky. Now I am fiddling again, obviously. This means I'm not happy. So I've gone up to that edge there and left a gap. Just gone around my rocks just a bit, just so that it doesn't look as if I've not bothered. I'm just softening out some of those sparkles as I call them because I didn't want them all but it's easier to do that than try and get some more in that's better than more of them and my last thing to do obviously is to put a bird in so I'm using Payne's Grey and the, the mix we had, and I'm just putting a little bird in there. 
and a, a small one up there. Have them at different angles. And remember, when you're doing them like this, they're flat. They are not these. Going to, oh, can't. When that's dry, I'm going to have one close to the, the sea. That's that. I can't put one down there at the moment because it's too wet. I'm going to put a little bit of a some rocks just coming out there so a little a few dots of of brown just to to signify that there's some rocks there and got that done i think i don't think there's anything else to be done no Because this one's, I'm just going to do its legs. Or leg. And that one there. Got one close to the the water over there. 